today we are in the key of A flat at 120 BPM. And this is one of them vibes, baby. This song is called Party Never Stops. We are in the recording session, the raw session with the raw vocals and the raw beat. With nothing touched, just the raw session. This album was mixed by an engineer named Toby Meeks, and it was mastered by its big dev. So, let's get started. This one started off with the bells. So, let's go. Oh, 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 oh. So, we're going for club. Next is the brass. So the brass kind of follows it, but at the same time, it has its own melody to it. Next is the lead. The lead is just bringing energy. So you got a whole lot of, a lot of ways this could go. And I added a pad just to fill out the ambience. That's really low in the final mix. So next we're gonna bring in the 808. So the first four, first four is no drums, really. And it's, they slowly come in. Kick, snares. The cymbals and percussion. And so now we got a whole atmosphere going. We got a party going. We got energy going. We got that energy, right? So this one was all about the club and just having the fun. So let me unmute the vocals and you'll understand what I'm talking about. Put your bottles up. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. We rock, we rock. Everywhere we go. We go. So, so for the hook, because I got two different fills, so it's kind of layered, two different fills with the lead in the center on different parts. So the hook is wide, and then the vocals for the verse are simple and uh, simply just a lead track and ins and outs. That's it. And so we got wide. So we're playing. We're playing with that same dynamic of wide hooks more intimate verses so that you can hear what I'm saying. I could be as lyrical as I want to, and you'll be able to hear every word that I'm saying because the beat breaks down and switches up for the verse a little bit so that that space is there for the verses. And that's what I was going for. So the, the key to this record was just energy. Just bring the energy. This was one of those records where I wanted to make a song, and I just didn't know what I wanted to make, so I just went creative. I just went, okay. What, what haven't we done yet? What haven't we tried that's not in the catalog that I have not tried yet? And, and this is what I got that night. Just, you know, having fun. You got to have fun with it. And you just got to push the boundaries and push the limits. You don't want to keep remaking the same song over and over. You always want to push the boundaries, push the limits of the art. And this proves it. Whether it fails or not, it's up to the listener. But... As long as you're having fun and you're trying, people will get in. People will rock with you regardless. But if you never try, you don't know where where the boundaries are, what you can and can't do, what you need to work on. And so I like to always push so I know how where what el where in my uh, songwriting ability I need to be working on. And always keep that in mind when I'm writing records. That way I can get stronger over time and make better and better records over time. Should be regressing. I should always be progressing, making better records over and over time. So you got to give yourself a chance. Some records just ain't going to make the album. That's the whole point of building a catalog of songs and then picking the best ones. That way you have a full-fledged, fleshed-out idea, and you'll be able to bring it out to the world and, and bring the best out into the world. But if you just... Drop everything immediately after you record it. You're not gonna. You're not gonna test yourself, and you're not gonna know what you're made of. So, if you have any questions, until next time, let's just rock out.
Put your bottles up, 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 put your bottles up.